I'm Lindsay Gensel. I'm the host of Refocus with Lindsay Gensel, which is a podcast collaboration with ADHD Online. And what I love about this partnership with ADHD Online is we are creating stuff that's for the ADHD brain, but it's also for the people that have to live with us. So I'm bringing Kathy into the conversation. Kathy, tell us a little bit about what you do at ADHD Online. Hi, I'm the controller and the HR person that handles all the functions in the office. And you do not have ADHD. I do not have ADHD. But you have worked with people who have ADHD. I am working with people that have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a prerequisite for some. Yes. On it, and so we seem to hire that, which is fine. They're a great bunch of people to work with, but I do not have it, so it's interesting. It is interesting, I, I imagine. now. I would be interested to know from your perspective, working in a role like yours where you are, you know, in a leadership position, you kind of have to, you know, get people in line every so often. What have been some of the struggles for you in communicating with people whose brains just literally work differently than yours? Um, I think one of the issues is trying to get them to understand it takes me a different way to understand than what it does for them. And so to work together, we each have to kind of give and take on their style of learning, and I do with mine. And we're basically both learning off each other, but I have to point that out sometimes. But I think it's important for people who don't have ADHD to feel comfortable pointing that out and to come at it in a way that is caring and thoughtful and for the greater good. I had a similar scenario at work where, you know, I know I've got a thousand balls in the air, mm -hmm. and I am very unlikely to drop them, but not everyone knows that. And so when I'm running around and it feels chaotic to people outside, in my world, it's just like a normal day, mm -hmm. but they feel the chaos. And so someone came to me, one of my supervisors, and just said, hey, I know you're going to get it done, but these people don't know you yet, and they haven't worked with you long enough. So I just need you to reel it in a little bit and to, you know, kind of follow the, the path that we have set up that everyone else is following and we'll let you kind of have a little bit more of that freedom once we all get there. But mm -hmm. I had never even thought about it. I just was going about my business like, you know. Yeah. It, it, it's interesting when you realize that we might get to the end result, but we're going to get there differently mm -hmm. and we just have to kind of communicate how we're doing that. Correct. And I've had to do that with different people of state. I don't have ADHD, and I need to learn to work with somebody that has it. And you have ADHD, and you need to learn to work with someone that does not. It and creates a really nice working environment when you come at it with that mindset. Yeah. And it's worked well when we both have that, I need this, and we both understand that, and that's worked well in the team. And you can tell me about the times it hasn't worked well after we stop recording. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Kathy, for joining us. You Thank can you uh, find all of the resources that we're building with ADHD Online by visiting the website ADHDonline.com.